Toy Mas Fuerte Sora. You are growing up, man. You're growing up very fast. Seems like only yesterday you you came into my life back in 2002. No, I'm not gonna be that kind of a sentimental crybaby. That's Sora's job. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Six of you? Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. That's five. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, this area is kind of important. As you can see from these various uh, curtain things on these mirror things, or murals or whatever you'd call them, each of these shows off a certain type of ability. Sora will gain access to these abilities as the story progresses, but once you talk to the Red Fairy, whose name is Flora, in case you haven't seen Sleeping Beauty, She's played by that stupid Mrs. Um the Professor Umbridge chick from Harry Potter in Maleficent. So basically, just talk to Flora and you'll get your stuff done. But, you'll get some pretty awesome, badass abilities with well, that. So hopefully, Sora, Donald, we get Goofy. something good. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. You get to design my outfit. I'll do the designing. I'm not dressing up like Prince Philip, I'm telling you. It ain't happening. No, oh, that will never do. Thank you, Meriwether. That was a very gross colored outfit. Oh, now, now, dears. Blue. Eh. But don't you Definitely like not pink. Better? No, I don't oh. like that. That's like vomit colored. I don't want that. Are you No sorry? pink. No green. Blue. I will settle on blue if you guys are having a hard time deciding things. Oh, dear God. Where were you in the last game, Mr. Uh, Raven? Would you just decide? I'm affectionately going to call him Ray Lewis. If you don't get that, then congratulations. I don't know. Maybe you'll get a cookie if we meet in public. Survey says... Oh my. Now that oh, is lovely. a swagging outfit. Nice oh, little yeah. shot of my crotch right there. Or Sora's crotch right there. Now those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. I feel the power! Super Saiyan? Do I get to become a Super Saiyan? No, but I get badass red clothes. I'll take that. And a second Keyblade! Two Keyblades? No shit, Sherlock. I just said that. The difficulty, it's not as difficult as the first one. Twice the length, I'll say that. So the first, my first Let's Play was 48 parts. This one's probably going to be like 96, 97 around that. And thanks a lot. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, Yen Sid got us a present. Can I wear the hat? I want the hat. Ooh, our first new Keyblade. As you can see, Keyblades have their own abilities now. Star Seekers is increases maximum combo by one in the air. So when you're in the air. You'll get an extra hit in if you're using that. Unfortunately, it's locked into Valor form for now, so we can't worry about that. With Goofy's help, you can transform into your Valor form, which focuses mostly on strength. Like your physicality. You don't really you don't get to use magic, but boy do your attacks hit and hit hard. Who, Nelly. I cannot wait. Valor form is gonna be the fun one to boost up. Oh, I dropped something. What do we drop? Ooh, it's a little mini crown. Part of a picture. That doesn't look like a part of a picture. Sora, 
Have you been on your... Are you taking your meds? Come on. The game wasn't taking its meds before, but are you taking your meds? Alright, in case you haven't been paying attention to the read to the script, we get picture pieces we get to pick up. And Jiminy's gonna be taking care of them, even though this is the last time we'll see Jiminy throughout the whole game. Uh, we get puzzle pieces, we can get to put them together and show them off and all that jazz. You'll get you'll get used to it the more we play, so. I'm a better shower than a speaker and educator. In case you- Ooh, the gummy ship! In Ew, case you've ever, like, known me, you know short. I'm, like, useless when it comes to, like, teaching someone how to do it. I even have that- run into that problem at work all the time. So, you guys ready to go? Now, now. Just a moment. Oh, come on. We're so excited. Because we want to get going. Because of previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways. Oh, well, thank you for retconning the really bad ending to These Kingdom Hearts One, where we all got separated. By thank you. Special gates. Thank you, Kingdom Hearts Two. Thank you. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the Gummy Ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned. I want the hat. I, I prefer the hat over the gummy ship, the just saying. And the nobodies will be Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, they didn't need gummy ships. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. Just saying. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between But of the course worlds. they are, Master Yen said. That wouldn't make that would make the game way too easy if we now could just then, fly from destination A to destination B. I can give to you. It'd be like Star Wars. Go That's forth, not fun. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Watson. We sure do appreciate the help. There goes Yen Sid, never to be seen again. At least in this game. My goodness, what's that? So you carried them dead robes all the way from Hollow Bastion. Or the Dark Realm, or wherever. Wait, didn't Ansem, like, kick them into oblivion Haven't or something? Seen this somewhere before? I don't know. Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, remember her name? How could you forget? She was a mean old witch. Oh no, the memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Well, great. You three idiots just brought the mistress of mediocrity back from the dead. Congratulations. Maleficent! Welcome back, Maleficent. You got anything interesting you have to say? <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty poignant. Howdy, Sora. How oh, it's the Rescue Rangers! ch 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 Rescue Ranger! ch 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 Rescue Rangers! Okay, I'm done. Happy flying! I shall watch Rescue Rangers today. 
I don't have that much Only left to record, one? so that's good. I also I do have to upload something today though. Wait, I think it's a probably the first episode of this or the opening to Toy Story. I don't know. Yes, you actually get to fly around freely, which is good because you don't have to just say, "Hey, click the cursor." Instead of going to Traverse Town, you go right to Wonderland. Instead, you can fly around freely. You can go from Hollow Bastion to like whatever other worlds we have before going. Now we got those magical barriers that prevent us from going to worlds that we haven't seen yet, but we have these other two worlds that are sort of on our way there. We can get there, but not for a little bit. All right, land in Hollow Bastion. Let's do this. It's no longer the final boss world. It's actually a good world. Like our hub world, if you'd call it that. Beneficent. Like Traverse Town was Beneficent. in Kingdom Hearts 1. Maybe they really did finish her off. We did, but uh Ooh, this castle sure ain't The three good I fairies kind of ruined everything. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's going to happen to our plan? I distinctly remember beating her in roughly 90 seconds. Just saying. But no, she's back from the dead. And people are back in Hollow Bastion. That's the most important part. No, not yet. Not you. It's Hollow Bastion. Gore, she looks kind of different now. I'm sure Leon's doing just fine. We left him in charge, so obviously everything's under control. Uh oh, oh like Leon. You know what? I'm not even gonna call you Leon anymore. You're gonna, you're just gonna be Squall. You don't like it? You can deal with it. Oh, okay, welcome to Hollow Bastion. It's it, like I said, this is our hub world. So we're gonna have our big market over here where we can buy and sell and trade and all that jazz. Ooh, we got a new puzzle piece. Yay! Oh yes, I almost forgot. When you do your your new form abilities, as you level up your forms, you'll actually unlock abilities for Sora to use outside of them. For example. In Valor form, you get a high jump ability. When you level up to, I believe, level 3, Sora will gain the high jump ability. And each time you level up the dry form, the ability will go get better. So the jump will go from being like a little stubby jump to being a big jump, to a super big jump. By the end of the game, you should be jumping higher than LeBron James, man. I don't mean to bring up LeBron James. I know Mark Leota does not like him at all like it's like it's not even like funny he hates lebron james specifically because what the Cavs did to uh the raptors in the playoffs this year but oh well unfortunately we don't have access to being able to change to get the star seeker but that'll change once we complete our first world not this like like our first like disney themed world you know Give everybody ability rings to boost up their AP. Now, I'm going to be buying these whenever we get new ones because they'll be boosting up our strength and our stats and all that. But mainly because there is an item called the AP boost in this game that we can get that boosts your AP by one. I'm going to be giving it to myself largely. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, for this... As you can tell, each val each form specific each of these forms has different ways of leveling up. Experience for Valor is gained by getting attacks in on the enemy. Not just misses, not just swings. You have to make contact with the enemy. So if I make contact with the enemy 80 times in that form, I'll level up the form. 
which is good. Uh, let's, let's check out the puzzle pieces. See what we can do with it. Placing the pieces. Collect all the pieces and solve the puzzle. Search carefully for puzzle pieces scattered throughout the world. If you find a piece you can't reach, come back to it later when Sora has developed new powers. Some pieces, some puzzles require you to rotate pieces. Use the right stick to rotate pieces. Once a puzzle is completed, you will receive a special reward. Now, like I said, the first three or four puzzles in this game are very simple and easy to fix. Like, this one's going to be easy. It's just a matter of getting the pieces. The deeper you go into the game, the more complicated the puzzles are going to be, so... Don't expect anything too easy that, or this early on. I mean, don't expect anything too easy the whole way through. Talk to Moogles in town. They can synthesize items with various materials. Unlike in the first game, where it's a bunch of stupid things, the items you can make at the, Goog the Google shop. The Moogle shop. Ooh, we got an elixir. Nice. The items you can get in the Moogle shop and make are actually good items. You don't have to worry about anything. Unfortunately, we don't have anything. So we can't make anything just yet. And we can't get that uh, sticker just yet. And we have no money with which to buy any items since I burnt it all out on those accessories. But whatever. Is that Scrooge McDuck? Oh my god, this is like... This is like Saturday morning cartoon fever. We had the Rescue Rangers, and now and we had Goof Troop because Pete was there, and now we got DuckTales. This is awesome. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Well, technically, Goofy was right. If you're going to be setting up a transit system, you're naturally going to have traffic in between the world, so you might need that. Just saying. Aww, I'm sad that Alan Young isn't alive anymore. I'm also sad that he didn't get to voice Scrooge in this game. He does get to voice him in a later Kingdom Hearts game, but not now, unfortunately. Scrooge, it's sea salt ice cream. Even Count Dooku knew that. And he didn't know much of anything. Leon and the others are in the burrow. They're at Merlin's house. All right, we get to go to Merlin's house. Maybe Merlin will give us the Winnie the Pooh book. I don't know. Where's Merlin's house? Oh my God, what is that? Demon circle. That's the town's defense mechanism. Oh my God, the voice from the heavens. No longer Christy Carlson Yuffie. Romano, but I'll take it. I'll Look take out. your voice, Yuffie. Oh my god, she they got Mae Whitman to do her voice. That is amazing. In case you don't know, Mae Whitman is best known, at least in my books, as being the voice of Katara in Avatar The Last Airbender. Booyah! Oh my god, we just got combo boost. Oh my god, the game is officially on my side, and I love it. Combo boost basically when you attach the ability boosts your the damage you do per hit you get. So the more hits you get, the more powerful your attacks are. Oh my god, hey, yes. I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great. Hey Yuffie, have you seen the king and Riku? Nope. <laughs> oh my god, I love you, Yuffie. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. Nope! <laughs> we may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? We're calling him by his slave <laughs> name, Squall, Yuffie. Everybody's Don't worry about it. It's okay, sweetie. Merlin's house. Come on, 